This is puzzle number 91, a diabolical puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 125 by Soap Opera Digest. In this video we're going to go over the Sudoku opposite pattern and give you examples of how powerful and useful this pattern is. I'm Harold Nolte and I have over 160 videos on Sudoku on this channel. There's also a website sudokuprimer.com where you can find lots of information about techniques, patterns, and other Sudoku information. I wanted to also say thank you for your comments. I enjoy reading them and uh, and when, I, when you have questions I like answering them and helping helping you understand Sudoku better. So if you do have questions or comments about um, about this puzzle or or others, please leave a comment. I appreciate them. Well to get started let's talk about the opposite pattern. Uh, box one here has a, an example of the opposite pattern. The opposite pattern is where we have two numbers in opposite corners from each other. Now they could have other numbers in here too, but uh, these are the only two numbers that you need. When you have an opposite pattern like this, then you can look at the middle column and the middle row for clues to finding the numbers in these two cells. Here we have another opposite pattern we got a 1 and 5 in the corners. And let's just look at that one for a second. Let's look at this row and this column and see what we have. We've got a 5. I already have a 5, but we have a 2, 3, and 7. And here we have a 1, 3, and 8. So we have a 3 in both the row and in the column, so we know one of these is a 3. We've already got a 3 there, so we can put the th you know fill in that 3 right there. Now that's not a real good example of the opposite pattern. Let's look at this one up here. Here we've got a 7, 8, 4, 1. We've already got a 7 here, so we've got an 8, 4, and a 1 that aren't in this box yet. And here we've got a 4, 5, and 8 that aren't in this box yet. So here we, in the column we have a 4 and an 8, and in the row we have a 4 and an 8. So therefore we know these are 4, 8 twins. The 4 has to go in one of these cells and the 8 has to go in the other. Now we can't solve these um, this, these twins right now. We don't have enough information, but even though we can't solve them, this will help us. If you notice that with the 4, 8 twins here, we've got what, what I would call a hidden plus pattern. Uh, the plus pattern is out on Sudoku Primer um, Dot com. So if you're not familiar with that, you can go out and take a look at in the patterns section and take a and read up on the plus pattern. But essentially with the four eight twins here and the seven nine here, we've got a a plus. And what that means is we have a 5 here and we don't have a 5 in this box yet so we know one of these is a 5. The 5 is constrained to row 2 in this box. So this can't be a 5 and of course there's a 5 there already but there's no 5 in this column but we know there's no 5 here because we have ghost 5's here because of the plus pattern. Now let's look at this row here. We've got a 7, 8, 4, and a 1. We know the 4 and 8 are in here already and the 7 but we don't have a 1, so we know the 1 is constrained to this column, to column 2. That means that neither of these can be a 1. We've got a 1 here, so we know that can't be a 1. Okay. Now we'll, we'll get back with that in a few minutes. And I'll give you more, um, more information, or help you out, help you 
see what I mean here on this plus pattern there. Well, I'm going to fill in a few numbers here. We filled in that three there. We've got a three here, and uh, we know that's a three because we've got a three here and a three here. So a three has to, is constrained to this column in this box, but we know the three can't be here or here because we've got a three here and a three here. So one of these has to be a three and a three here, so one of these has to be a three. And using double row elimination, we know that this box has to have a three here, and this has to, box has to have a three here. So that covers these two rows. So a three can't be here or here. Now, if you are not familiar with that, Go look up double row, column, row, and column elimination in the techniques section. Might be running off the, the video here a little bit, but in the techniques section of SudokuPrimer.com, you can read up about row, double row and, row, row and column elimination. Okay, we know this is a 7. That's pretty easy. And if you don't understand why I placed a certain number in, in this puzzle, if I don't give enough information, please leave a, a question in the comments and I'll, um, I'll help you help answer that question. All right, let's look at this column right here. We're missing 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. 2, 4, 5, and 6 in this column. Here we've got a 4, 5, and a 6, so we know that's a 2. Okay, that's a 4, a 5, because we have a 6 there. That's going to be 4, 5, or 6, and that's 4, 5, or 6. So we can, we can solve the 2 there. Okay, and now we've got a 2 and an 8 here, and a 2 and an 8 here, so we know these are 2, 8 twins. So these are 3, 4 twins. And we can solve those. All right, now with this four here, we know we got a four and a five here and a four and a five here. So these are four or five twins right there. Um, we also know we got four or five here, four or five twins here. And so a four and a five go in this row in this box. We've got a four and a five here in this column already. So we have four or five twins here also. So four or five twins there and four or five twins here. So that leaves only two cells that we don't know about here. And they are one, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one and seven. So we don't have a one or a seven here. We don't have a one or a seven here, but remember our hidden plus pattern here with the with the diagonal pattern that we found, I mean the opposite pattern that we found. So we know that one of these has to be a one, so this can't be a one. So we know that's a seven. And the one goes here. All right, and with the four five twins here, we know that we got a three and a nine here and a three and a nine here, so we have three nine twins there. We've got a one here and a one here, so we know this is a one. Without knowing these are three nine twins, the one could go in any one of these three cells, but these are three nine twins, so the one can't go there. So we know it goes there. And we also have a six here with the three nine twins there, we know the six goes up here. And uh, we've got a 6 here and a 6 here. So a 6 has to go in one of these three cells. But we know these are 4 or 5 twins. So the 6 goes there. Okay, now we can fill in a 7 there. That one's pretty easy. And we've got a 
four here and a four here, so we know that's a four. And we got five and a five there, so that's a five right there. All right. And then now let's look at this box right here. We've got a corner pattern right here. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with that, go to sudokuprimer.com and we look up under patterns, look for the corner pattern. Uh, with that corner pattern here, we've got a 5, 4 here, and they're already there, and a 6 and a 1. So we know these are 1, 6 twins. And so these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 right there. So we can fill those in. Once we filled in those, we know, now we know, because of this 8, we know how to solve the 4, 8 twins that we found at the beginning. And because of this 9 here, we can solve the 3, 9 twins that we found. We can also f finish filling in this box with the 4, 5s here, the 4, 5 twins. And now we've got now we've got a true plus pattern. It's not hidden anymore because we have the four eight twins re, um, solved. Let's see what we're missing here. We've got a four seven nine eight four seven nine eight. Uh, we're missing a three and a five. So these are three fives here, and we can solve them. All right, let's look at this column right here. Let's see what we're missing. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine we're missing. There's a nine, seven, eight. There's an eight, nine, so that's a seven. So that makes that an eight and that a nine. And with these nines, we can fill in a nine right here. And you say, how, how do we know that's not a 9? Well, we've got a 9 here and a 9 here, so we've got ghost 9s here. So we know well, this can't be a 9. And again, uh, ghost numbers are a tech, under techniques on sudokuprimer.com, so you can look that up if you're not familiar with ghost numbers. All right, now we have an eight here. Pretty easy, and that leaves, oh, there's a one and an eight left here. With that eight here, we know that's one, that's an eight. Okay, now we're missing uh, just three numbers here. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, and six. So that's two, four, six. And with this six, we can solve those these the last two numbers here in this box. All right, and in box five, we're only missing a two and an eight. And we've got an eight there, so we know that's a two and that's an eight. <clears throat> All right, let's look at what's missing in this column here. One, four. One, four, and nine. We've got a four and a nine there. So one, nine, four. And now we're missing a two there. So what do we have here? Five and six are missing there. We can't solve those yet. Let's see what we're missing here. One, two, Six. One, two, six. So that's a six. And one there. So two, one. In box one. Now we can solve the five and six in box two. And we've got another corner pattern here. So what are we missing here? We got one, four, eight, three, one, four, eight, three. Three, seven and six. 
So seven and six missing there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, nine there. So we can solve the seven and six right here. And this is a five and a nine. We can't solve those yet. But here we have seven, nine. So seven and nine there, so we can solve those. Now we can solve the five nines in box four, three there. And we have a four and a five in box six. And that's it. All right, well that wasn't too bad. The, as you can see, this opposite pattern here really helped us out. In this, in this section right here, this vertical section. Once we knew these were 4-8 twins, and what's powerful about this is even though we can't solve them, we know those two numbers are, are taken, so to speak. So we have a, in this opposite pattern case, if we find twins in the opposite corners of the other two numbers, we have a hidden plus pattern. We took advantage of that in order to find out uh, more information about the puzzle. So, so that'll do it for this video. Um, if you're not familiar with any of these techniques, uh, go to SudokuPrimer.com and take a look at them and uh, they should help you understand those uh, better. And, and that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.